Welcome back to more Pokemon Platinum. So last time we made the Sunshine City by taking Route 222, and yeah, we also got acquainted with the gym leader Boltner. Who yeah, we can see his title here, the Shining Shocking Star, and we need to give him a good battle so that he stays in the gym. Yeah, anyway. So, good thing is, we're going to be using all the Pokemon that deal with electric types semi well in this gym, so that's nice. Nice little tea. Hey there, how's it going, Champ to be? Let me check out your trainer case. Let's see how many badges you have. One, two, three. Wow. Whoa, wow, you've already got seven. That means you can beat this gym and you're on your way to the Pokemon League next. That also means this is the last time I get to give you advice. This is it, can I listen carefully one last time? The gym leader here is the master of electric type Pokemon. That's all I have to say. The rest are to you. And the puzzle is this really interesting gear puzzle, where you need to like spin them around to make a path. So yeah. Let's battle a trainer and we can talk about the type of that. So yeah. Can you make it to a gym leader? You sure know. Alright. So, electric type Pokemon. They are kind of a weird type. I feel like they can't play mind games on V2 in some weird ways, but anyway. So electric type Pokemon, their deal is they're only weak to ground, but they don't really resist much else. Other than that, they don't really resist um, electric and steel, I do believe. They're super effective on two very common types, though, water and flying. <coughs> so yeah, that's actually pretty good. The gear spin round around, I spin down now. Now let's to go to the next room, where the puzzle gets a little bit more interesting. We also affect this guy. <laughs> I want to win. That desire pulled into my guitar. I want to win. The passion, that passion compels my Pokemon. Alright, so yeah. Like I said, it's kind of a type that plays mind games on me because I always want to run a ground type Pokemon for them. Because yeah, the other thing about electric is that ground type Pokemon destroy them pretty easily because they are immune to electric type moves. Electric type Pokemon don't really learn other moves. Some do have some pretty good type coverage, but a lot of them are stuck to just their stab. Or stubs, I should be saying as well. But yeah. And any yeah, of course, ground types also have good defense. So even if they do have good type coverage, um, yeah, they still might get rocked. So yeah. And of course, ground types have super effective moves against them and they're stabbed too. And then another reason why I think they can't play mind games only, and I always want to bring those ground type Pokemon for them, is that a lot of them like to paralyze you. They learn the move from the wave, so and yeah, that move yeah paralyzes you. So you want to um, deal with it because of that. So yeah, that's why yeah, pretty much every electric type gym, I always want to make sure I have at least a ground type for it. Like in this case, so yeah. Luckily though, they do light up a ground type Pokemon just before the gym. We could win, no one cross for us. Like I'm thinking about Gen. I mean, every generation is kind of like that. Like, Gen 1, you can get... Um, Gen 1, you can get Diglett and Dugtrio just before that gym. Um, Gen 3 wasn't really a good example. That one's actually pretty interesting because of that, because, yeah. This is the toughest gym in Sinnoh, that's why I'm here, to learn the best battle techniques around. Yeah, so I'm pretty sure the only ground you can get before Hoenn's electric type gym are, like, Geodude and... Master, I'm pretty sure, so yeah. They always use a curl on this gym, which probably means I need to go back and heal because um, they're gonna run out of kicks, so yeah. Well, you know, I can just switch to another Pokemon. <laughs> like, I do have my Inferno, or Hanuman, I should be saying. Hanuman has also Earthquake and you also have the Exo Belt, so yeah. Anyway. Now, this gym is the last gym, so if you don't have a ground type before then, Either you don't want a ground type, or I don't know what's wrong with you. <laughs> so yeah. So you got a poker good. It should be pretty awesome Pokemon they're gonna be using against us. Look at the way I'm dressed. Can I see that I'm hardcore? It's not hardcore cosplay, I guess, baby. Um. Then yeah, Gen Five is the one example I was thinking about because yeah, um, yeah, the desert sort. And the roots near it. Yeah, those places are basically, um. Those places are basically, uh, um, ground type. There's so many ground types around there. 
And there's also a lot of good options for them as well. I mean, there's not that many crafts. I forgot what you think about, but yeah, I always associate with this result with a like a way to beat the electric faction that comes up afterwards. So yeah, Gen 6 is also like that. There's a desert route. And then just before the town where the electric type gym is, he can catch a pretty good ground type for the gym battle there. Although, I'm pretty sure that the gym leader is. They tried to counter ground type, so I can't remember. I know the star Pokemon can learn moves that counter ground type's pretty good, but yeah, I'm not so sure if, you know. He actually has those moves, but yeah. And then, yeah, Gen 7, I can't remember. Maybe it has like an electric type um, trial or something like that. Nothing's really come to mind, so. And then Gen 8. Did I have an electric type gym? I don't think it did, but again, I could, my memory could be really bad. <laughs> Gen 9 had an electric type gym too. The game's pretty open though, so yeah. Uh, you could very well not have it. You could have not run to like a good ground type around that, but I'm pretty sure there might be some good ones. Before just outside the gym, so yeah. What's that? <laughs> also, yeah, the Gen 9 gym. I was saying, seriously, don't laugh at me. I mean, probably one of my favorites actually, because yeah, we saw the gym leader before the game's release, and I actually quite liked them, to be honest, so yeah. And yeah, when I saw them in game 2, it was a lot of fun. They were really fun to me, though. And probably my favorite in that generation, too, anyway. Whether you're a trainer or a guitarist, it takes a dedication to improve your math skills. So yeah. And yeah, as you already know too, I also always like to run on ledge type Pokemon if I can, because um, they're very reliable at what they need to do, because yeah, a lot of them learn Thunder Wave, which is a good move for debilitating Pokemon. I'm, I'm actually kind of consider maybe not having Thunder Wave in fact, because yeah, I could also run Reflect or, or Light Screen, should I say. I don't think Right Chin is Reflect. But yeah, I was thinking maybe I could run Light Screen on my Right Chin to maybe make switching into Pokemon a little bit easier for my team. That is something I'm considering a little bit. My skills seem to let me down. I must have been out of tune. So yeah, maybe I don't want Thunder Wave because of that. So yeah. Although yeah, okay. Thunder Wave is just a move I like to use, much to the chagrin of my brother. Mainly it's for catching Pokemon, but at the same time too, it can also debilitate a very strong Pokemon, make it easier for my other Pokemon to take out. So yeah. I'm not just looking for tough trainers to battle. I've been battling here because I want to feel the rush. Alright. And yeah, of course, I could also try relying on static, because uh, we have that ability, so yeah. So maybe I don't need Thunder Wave because of that, but yeah, again, I'm not so sure. But yeah, something to do with my intel this jump, which is a bit annoying. And yeah, that was as fast as, so yeah. You guys are the fastest Pokemon around, but that's okay. But that is giving me good info for later of what I need to do, basically, so yeah. So you can take out the was good. He did take that line top pretty good though, because it's not stabbed, so yeah. L48. Missed. Not a great move. I'm pretty sure that it protects you from statlery moves, which is cool, I guess, but yeah. Nothing that you can hit. And a right you. Those are Destiny, which is a cool name, but anyway. Ah, oh, dick, okay. <laughs> but, uh, something about Earthquake, though, is it hits Pokemon that using dick, so, um, that wasn't your smartest play, Ace Trainer. So, yeah, there we go. <laughs> that was a bit like so, there we go. Your power's thrilling, I'm thrilled down to my toes. Alright, let's try Blue Blanc. He's not immune to electric, but they resist at least. And they have nice grass and poison type moves to use, so yeah. If they do run into like a Magdemite or something, maybe I need to bust out Euchre again. For the gym, I probably will be using Euchre a lot. So we got another guitarist here. What's he got to say? Spark! This is what Chinlia did to the gym out of boredom. Let me get a sub too. So he has a Lux, you know. Let's go for that as Sludge Pump. But yeah, I'm also reminded of the anime too, because I'm pretty sure that the arc is actually kind of similar with the gym leader. 
but then the fight was extremely good. I really liked it. I'm pretty sure something really cool happened in that fight. I can't remember exactly what happened, but yeah, I remember liking what happened, so yeah. <laughs> That's all I can really say on that matter, so yeah. So take out that Flux here, very nice. And Blue Flux gets to level 48. Spark! They say that in um, Xenoblade 3, it's, it's, I think it's supposed to be like a cuss word, but yeah. So I put blue block in the black. Uh, luckily for us, yeah, again, Hanuman also has Earthquake, so yeah, it's also going to do a lot of damage. You can actually go under that, if you didn't know, so yeah. And now we can do this, and we can battle this way. And that's the last trainer so can go back to heal after this. Well, I'm surprised you come this far, but you'll have to turn back. There isn't any chance to, that you could ever beat me. We'll see about that. So here's two Pokemon, an Electabuzz. So we're going to use Hanuman against that. Hanuman can also keep up with these fast electric types too. Yeah, that's another thing about the electric type. Most of the Pokemon are fast, although the slow ones are definitely quite interesting still, like Ampharos, of course, my favorite electric type family, the Magnum. So yeah. So there we go. We took out the Electabuzz and now the also Magneton. Magneton has bad special defense, so I'm gonna go for my flamethrower on it. Because again, this is also excellent belt boost because I'm using super boost, so yeah. Very, very nice. And there we go. So take out that Magneton. What makes your Pokemon so special? Probably will lead with Hanuman for the Chimbal, because again, I feel like it was Inferni that was the star Pokemon in the walk from the Chimbal, so yeah, why not? I'll uh, pay tribute to that and use my own with Hanuman, so yeah. So let's go back and heal, and let's take on Volkner. And let's give him a battle that he'll remember. So yeah, we're all healed up, and yeah, I'm actually kind of excited for this, because I remember this gym battle being kind of fun in this version, so yeah. I think they improved this team in um, Platinum when compared to Diamond Pearl, because in Diamond Pearl there were a lot less electric types you could use, so yeah. So, in we go. I don't know why I did that. <laughs> That's not how you solve this puzzle. What you do is to go down here, and then you can do this, and you can move on. It's not a really complicated puzzle, but it's a fun one, so yeah, I quite like it. So yeah, go past here, hit this, so you can hit this. Spin that gear up there, so you can go up through here. It feels like a steel type turn too, considering you're moving gears, but yeah. It does look like a ledge type one at the same time as well, so yeah. So then you hit this. Go under here, and go here. Because yeah, you can go back down here, I think. Actually, do you want to do that? Probably not. Let's go back there. I guess yeah, I don't want to overcomplicate this puzzle because yeah, you can just go here. Um, do we do this? Probably not. Ah, huh, I completely forgot how to do this part. <laughs> I guess it's been a while, hasn't it? Yeah, you probably have to go down, don't you? So yeah. 
Let's do that. Yep, there you go. <laughs> I completely forgot how to do that puzzle, so yeah. Again, I guess it's been a while. But anyway, let's go Valvulta. Alright, Chantra. It's not often, but some trains manage to come in Chantry. But they've all been boring battles. I don't break a sweat being them. <sighs> I'm thought they're the chimney, though. They say I'm the top chimney of Cinnabar. Anyway, I guess we better get this done. I hope you're the trainer who'll make me remember how fun is the battle. So, yeah. That kind of surprises me, because you think that someone would bring a ground type team to beat this guy, but apparently he just easily beat them, so yeah. Anyway, Jolteon's his lead. And it's all places. So, what can Hunt do? Because he is going to be faster, and he goes to charge feet here, so he move. Against us. And it doesn't actually get the secondary effect, which raises the special attack that I'm going to use. It. It's a very cool move because of that. But yeah, how much will that extra belt boost the belt quick do? It does a lot, actually. Managed to take out the Jolteon. So we get to level 48. His next Pokémon's going to be Raichu. Which I'm going to stay in again, I think. Yeah, I'll speed the Raichu. Very nice. Let me go for that in Surf Pick. And yeah, I would know. My right, she doesn't have very good physical defense, so it's probably not going to take this off quick. And there we go. Very nice. Armon is definitely on a roll. Electivire. This is a star Pokemon. So, I think I outspeed this one too. So yeah, let's try it. Let's go for another earthquake. But yeah, it wasn't a star Pokemon down and pearl because again, Electivire wasn't in that game, so yeah. And just barely not a one shot, but I have a plan on how to deal with this. But yeah, it's gonna hurt us though, with a thunder punch. Again, it has 123 attack, I think is what I said in yesterday's part, so yeah. Yeah, that hurt. I get it, you guys are tough, but you can match your toughness. I'm actually gonna try a U-turn He actually didn't try it here, okay. But that's okay. Because, yeah, we're going to be saying a new canal, the big guns. What's he going to do? Thunder Punch? Yeah, there we go. I can go for Ice Shot, but there's no need because I'm pretty sure, yeah. He's going to use a Forest Start, and this is a Stab Earthquake with a higher attack stat, so it should work out. And yeah, this is exactly why I want to catch you, Katu. Add that nice strong Earth to my side to deal with this guy, so yeah. And there you go, nice one. Yeah, I probably didn't use the U did need to use the U-turn because the Citrus better healed the mass side of using a potion, so yeah. Finally is Luxury. This is it, my trump card. It doesn't have intimidate. And yeah, we do outsee the Luxury because again, it's um kinda slow. And yeah, there we go. It took down the Luxury. Nice. Earthquake. So there we go. You could did very well as expected. You've got me, Dean. Your, your design and noble way of talk up battle for you. I even felt thrilled during that match. That was a very good battle. <laughs> that was the most fun I've had in a battle since I don't know when. It's also made me excited to know you and your team will keep battling to greater heights. This is the Eye of Chimpatch, you've earned this. So yeah, we gave him a battle to remember, and yeah. There we go, we got the Beacon Badge. That Beacon Badge lets you use the hidden move Waterfall even when you're not in battle. Waterfall happens to be key if you're going to the Pokemon League. Also, because you collect all 8 Chim Badges, any Pokemon at any level now will be you without fail. I want you to take this too, TM57. What's inside that TM57 is the move Charge Beam. It may raise special attack if it lands. It's electrifying. It's so electrifying that I want to actually try it on um, Mark the Punch because it's you can learn this and it is good type coverage even though the power isn't very good. So yeah. Because yeah, again, the thing about its moveset is that it has trouble hitting um, war type Pokemon. So yeah, this will help out a little bit. So yeah. 
I'm probably going to replace this with something even stronger later, like a grass type move. There's two very good grass type moves it learns to deal with water type Pokemon, so yeah, I'll definitely keep those in mind. But anyway, now we can leave. And yeah, it can definitely set up on water type Pokemon because again, it its bulk isn't amazing, but the thing about water type Pokemon is they're also going to have trouble hanging because not many of those learn grass in the ledge type moves, so yeah. Oh, Naraka, did you beat the gym leader? Well, of course you did. But you know what? You haven't made it in my mind yet. Do you know why? Because you and your Pokemon are capable of achieving so much more. But I am proud of you. Eight Sim Gym Badges. Way to go, kiddo. But yeah, now we can use Waterfall at Cyber, but we don't actually have the HM move for it. So, let's go back and heal and let's go get that HM move. And I think for the rest of this part, we're going to be exploring a little bit with Waterfall so yeah. I can go back to Mount Coronet too, then we'll have a nice lumpy pot. So yeah, let's move around team a little bit. Because yeah. Yuka did well, and Hanuman did well too, so yeah, I'm proud of them. Hear that chimp bell? Hey, it looks like we're using Orca Punch for a little bit. So anyway... Let's go see Jasmine. Also, Barry said, Hey, Naraka! What the? You went and got all eight chimp badges of Sinnoh? Ah, oh, you. That's wicked, I envy you. But I don't think you've won, because I'm going to be the toughest trainer ever. You watch me. Because I was before I was streaming, I just wanted to be like my dad. Now things are different. I thought about what being a trainer involves. I thought about what Pokemon are. We're gonna get tougher one step at a time. I'm not gonna challenge you to a battle now. I hate to say it, but I know you're tougher than me. Not a whole lot tougher, just a little. Our difference is about a yard. Nah, not even an inch. What I'm trying to say is that I will catch up to you in no time. If you don't hurry the Pokemon League, I'll leave you in my wake. Is that your friend? Seeing how you two got along may be happy somehow. It must be wonderful having a friend like that. A person that you can share anything and everything with. A person you can compete with without fighting. Um, it made me feel like feel sort of warm to you two. It may seem odd, but I'd like you to have this as my friends. This isn't much, but yep, this is how you get huge from a summer waterfall. That hidden machine, it can swallow for. If you use it, you can get to the Pokemon. Um, I don't know how I should say this, but good luck. The good thing though is we don't need it until the end of the route, so technically we can just fight all the trainers, then backtrack, and then yeah, we can use it. But anyway, who's going to use Waterfall? I don't have a physical attack in water, I mean technically my water attack could definitely do that, but yeah. I don't want to give up on that charge beam I just got, so yeah. I guess I'll put away the loop block for the time being. So we can get out Beeberl, because Beeberl is very good at using water hatred. Like what? Say so, yeah. So, yeah, what do we need a teacher? We're probably just gonna teach the same as as Tropius, except we're not gonna have Defog because we're like on Lennon. See so, ya. Yeah. We'll have every other HM move for it though, see so, ya. Yeah. So, let's teach a cut. Yeah, no, I don't think we need that move. <laughs> let's teach a shrimp. Roll out. Let's teach it Rock Smash. And let's teach it Rock Climb. Oh, not Rock Climb. Uh, waterfall is the last move. We already have Rock Climb. Yuka. And yeah, looking at that too, I also saw Electric and then Rock. Oh, Strength. So that's something I can consider doing. If I want to, you know, go for the Victory Road, maybe, but I'm pretty sure we need to strip anyway, so I'm probably not going to bother. And there we go. Again, I don't know if Cut is necessary or not, because again, we only really need it in the other game, but yeah, just in case I'm going to take it, especially because I were in Brooklyn. On Yuka, so yeah. 
Alright, there isn't much we can do with Waterfall, but let's have a look. So... So we got the lake. There wasn't anything here. There wasn't anything around here. There wasn't anything here. Um, nothing there. Nothing there either. Did it tell have anything? No, I think, yeah. It's mostly just my coronet. But yeah, Ripto 8 did have something, so yeah. I guess we can go there first. So, let's get going. And um, also in this part too, I might make some preparations for what I'm going to be doing next, because yeah, I'm going to be doing what I promised I would do last time, so yeah. So, let's go back here, use that super repel, and let's get going. So yeah, we can use a waterfall here. I don't remember what these two, but I guess I'll find out. So, Ebro, let's go. Yep, it leads to an item, so that's good. You got a car bus. More plus speed. Again, I think I'll give this to, um... Um... Electro. To make use of that. High speed I was. There we go. It is also a fairly new team member as well, so I'm pretty sure that has EVs on max time. It didn't have max EVs or it didn't like have, you know, maxed speed. Or a hundred, I guess because it's anyway, Enough of that <laughs> jargon. Yeah, Route 212 doesn't have anything, Route 213 doesn't have anything. Spring path and the Send off string don't have anything, I think. This route does. The one that Nis last can in of course does. Um, Mount Coronet? I mean, yeah, this route didn't have anything either, so yeah. Let's just go to um, Celeste then. There's too much with Warful in this game, I do believe, so yeah. I probably should have checked for hidden knives there, but that's okay. Maybe again, I'm <laughs> completely forgetting about potentially very important things, but anyway. So, yeah, back on this route, I don't think we need to clear the fog, so yeah. I hope not, at least. <laughs> so, yeah, there's a waterfall on this route, so let's go and try and find it. Can you even access that waterfall? I feel like you can, but yeah, I could be very wrong. Yeah, you definitely can, because you can go here. So, if fogging, fog of warring this place, so yeah. Yeah, I should do better and check with the knives as well, just in case. So yeah. Doesn't look like there's anything there. So let's, um, go down the waterfall. Again, like the rock climb areas, I'm doing this all by memory, so yeah. <laughs> Now we have our waterfall too, is I'm pretty sure they need it to go down the waterfalls too, so I uh, don't try anything funny with like that. Anyway, that leads us to an actual item, which is a wave incense. I believe you need that for the Pokemon Mantic. I think it also boosts the power of all time moves, but I could be very wrong. Let's scroll all the way down and have a look. Yeah, it also boosts the power of time use, yeah. And now what we need to do is, we need to go to Mount Corona. So we're just gonna fly a Celestia. <laughs> because yeah, Mount Corona has some places we can use waterfall, so yeah. Actually, I probably want to go to Heart Home or Orbeck, because that's the more direct route we need to go. So I'm gonna do just that. And yeah, complete. I also purposely missed out on a TM here. But luckily, with this visit, I'll be able to go get it. 
And while I'm here, I'm also going to... Um... Well, see, uh, one funny tip is that you could scroll up through the back clicker if you do something. I probably should have done that, but oh well. Anyway, back on to Route 207. We're going to go into Mount Coronet and we're going to use an waterfall. There's only one thing you need to do here, but it is pretty cool, so I want to show it off. Well, see, there's that other thing I need to show off too that doesn't actually relate to waterfall. I'm pretty sure. There we go, and you be careful in that part, just in case. <laughs> yep, let's take a look. Let's see, uh, good thing I taught Beaver or Strength, because we're going to need that. Luckily though, Local is the last two trip moves, so we don't need to worry about needing any other moves, so that's good. So yeah, let's continue going up. Through Mount Corner. Oh, it should definitely put back on the rope. Are oh, we gonna find a graveler? Alright. And yeah, that thing's slow anyway, so I'll punch should be able to escape the problem. Back into the snowy area. And you can't use your bike in the snow, by the way, so yeah. So what we need to do is, we need to go... Um, I believe we actually have to go this way. And go here, because you see that there's one giant wood floor there. these to a cave. With a stone plate. The power of the feared giants abuses this plate. Here is the adamant orb. And the lustrous orb. So what do these items do? So, Adamant Orb, the, a brightly gleaming orb to be helped by Dialga. It boosts the power of Dragon Steel type moves, and Polkia's Lustrous Orb boosts the power of Dragon War type moves. But the only problem is, we don't have any of those weapon yet, so yeah. <laughs> Not really do much about this yet, so yeah. Also, we don't want to use Fly Dust yet, we don't want to escape our corner, so yeah. If we want to, though, we can use an escape orb, I'm pretty sure, so yeah. I mean, that's really cool that those are there, but again, we don't have those Pokemon, so yeah. So what's the deal? Well, you'll see about that later. Anyway, let's um, scroll back up. Yeah, this is a good tip to know when you have such a big item, or such a big pile of items, so yeah. Well, is still in effect, but that's okay. So now we need to keep making our way upwards. Now I do believe, was it the Adamant and Luscious Orb that does the thing in Luscious Arceus? I can't remember, but yeah. Let's just say that, yeah, in that game, the Org and Polk have some new forms, so uh, yeah. Maybe I'll talk about them later, we'll see. But yeah, what we need to do is, we need to go down here. Into this room again. But this time the grunt is not blocking our way anymore, so we can actually go through the room he was blocking. And yeah, we don't actually want to do that instead. So we gotta get back on our bike, ruin the mood by changing the music, and then, um... It arrives us to play free because the chain attack music, yeah, it does ruin the mood a lot of the fun by the way. Um, let's go down here. And the music's back to normal. Here you can get TMO2 Dragon Claw. 80 power physical dragon type move. Very basic stuff. 
And the seat's back here. But yeah, the reason why you couldn't, you couldn't get that earlier is if you try to push this wall down, you get stuck. So yeah. And luckily, this is a quick entrance out. So yeah. It's a bit good. We've done everything I know that you can do with waterfalls. So yeah. Let's go back to um, Snowpoint City. Let's get back blue block, and yeah, we're gonna be doing, we're gonna be preparing for the next part. So there we go. Also, I just realized the snow looks a bit different. I wonder if this is the diamond dust snow that I've heard people talk about before. It looks really pretty. Anyway. So what we want is we want to buy dust balls because I kind of said this a little bit earlier, but they're going to be useful. Coming up. In fact, I'll buy another 30 of them because I'm rich, so yeah. Yeah, Dust Balls have a better kind of trait than Ultra Balls. If it's in a cave or it's nighttime. So they're extremely good. But anyway, we're going to be going back to Acuity Lakefront because, yeah, like I said, next time we're going to be... Doing something I said I promised I would do after I beat the chip, so yeah. But yeah, we have to slowly make our way through the snow. Also, by the way, if you want to get the national decks in this game, by seeing every Pokemon, you need to do this, so yeah. You don't have to catch the Pokemon though, so that's good at least. So anyway, here we are. So yeah, next time, yeah, I think you know what we're going to be doing. We're going to be starting to catch the Leak Trio. So yeah, look forward to that, and I'll see you guys again for lunch.